Hi, welcome back. So in this video I'm going to answer uh, this question. How do you balance the busy demands of college? Um, I guess the way that I would answer that, and uh, keep in mind, take my answer with a, a bit of a grain of salt, um, you know, because every, you know, every person's way that they're going to balance uh, their demands and every, and really the demands on each uh, person when they go to college uh, can be, can be very, uh, very different. Um, but essentially, uh, the, the way that I kind of balanced the busy demands was by prioritizing what I was going to do. Prioritizing. Is that correct? Prioritizing. That's probably spelled wrong, but whatever. Uh, I, um, you know, I basically prioritized uh, what it was uh, that I guess I was going to do, maybe not even just for college, but really for my life while I was in college in general. And really what I did, and again, this is the part that I think that you should take with a grain of, of, uh, of salt, uh, because, you know, everyone is really different with how they approach college, um, you know, especially if it's your first time uh, going uh, going to college. Like, this is kind of my second time. I'm calling this college the sequel for me. But, um, you know, because I kind of already had more or less the college experience, and, you know, like, I went to DU, and I, I learned a lot, and I think I had a really good time and kind of got the typical college experience. When I came back to college, I, I made my number one priority my academics. Aca... So, you know, I, um, you know, I didn't really do any extracurricular stuff, or I did some extracurriculars, but really not that much. Um, you know, like one of the things that I, uh, you know, I, like, I, I know I've mentioned before that I, uh, played saxophone, uh, a lot in my first degree. My first degree was a music degree. Um, and I basically, you know, really put that on complete hiatus uh, when I came back to school. I said, okay, the number one priority, not even just for school, but really for my life right now, really has to be my academics. Like, my number one priority really has to be uh, getting, um, like, getting this right, I guess. Like, learning a lot and uh, putting, in the, putting in the time necessary. And this is the thing that, you know, it's, it's clearly going to be different for for every different person. I mean, there are people uh, I know right now that are going to college, and not that their academics are necessarily suffering. I think they're still doing fine with their academics. But there are people that, you know, one of their real top priorities is uh, being involved with extracurriculars, extra, extracurriculars, curriculars. You know, when these can be, you know, you know, playing in bands, these can be, uh, you know, um, uh, professional organizations, you know, the IEEE on Temple's campus has a, you know, has a pretty big presence. Um, uh, and, uh, you know, like there, there can be a lot that you can do with an extracurricular and there, and there is a lot like that's very worthwhile to do with an extracurricular or you can be in student government or, you know, there are tons of different, uh, experiences that I think is kind of important to have when you when you go to college. But I think that one of the things that really helped me uh, help me uh, get the results that I wanted academically was basically by saying, you know, I'm really not going to, you know, uh, participate that much. I, I did participate some, but I'm really not going to, you know, like I, I didn't play in any bands. You know, Temple has a has a great music program. Uh, like a very, very uh, good music program, very, you know, fantastic music program. Uh, and maybe it's a mistake. Maybe I should have participated a little bit more in that. But, you know, my priority uh, in coming back to school really was just to say, okay, I'm just here to uh, get what I need to get academically. That that was uh, really it. Um, you know, another thing that, uh, you know, I guess that, you know, I... It, it certainly helped me help me do this, helped me prioritize my academics, you know, as the number one thing that I was going to do. Um, one thing that helped me, and, you know, I think that this is, it's not, it's not unique to people that are going to college. A lot of people, you know, travel to, you know, a different state or a different, you know, uh, a different place when they're going to college. But 
one of the things that did kind of uh, help me prioritize in this fashion was the fact that I moved to go to college. Moved to go to college. Um, and this was mainly because, you know, like all of my friends that I had in Denver, my, my entire social circle, they really kind of knew me as a musician. They really, you know, understood me and kind of related to me uh, as, uh, as, a, as a musician. Um, and uh, I don't think if I had um, gone to school in Denver kind of around the same group of people. And great, you know, I'm not saying, like, they were all very supportive people. They, you know, and even everyone told me it was the great, it was the greatest idea that I would go back to college and get an engineering degree. I think they were all very supportive. But I think that if I had stayed around that same network of people, the network of people that kind of understood me as a saxophone player, that I kind of, kind of identified with me as a saxophone player, I don't think I would have been as successful, and I certainly don't think I would have been able to make my academics a, a priority. And, you know, I, uh, this isn't necessarily new. I think that, like, a lot of people, when they go to college, use it as an opportunity to sort of reinvent themselves. And I would, you know, say that that is an important thing to be able to take advantage of when you when you do go to college that you can kind of take an objective look at yourself and you know kind of uh look at you know the things that you like about yourself and look at the things that maybe you would want to change about yourself and you know you can uh you can you know try to uh change the things that you might want to change um or you know maybe you might not always succeed but you can at least uh you can at least try to do that if that's something that uh, that you want to do. Um, so anyway, that's the first uh, the first thing that I would say uh, is just being able to prioritize. Um, the second thing uh, is really just having a good relaxation technique. Relaxation technique. Relaxation technique. Um, and really, for me, my relaxation technique is walking. Walking. Uh, I know I've mentioned this, I think, in a previous video, that uh, the way, if I'm stuck in, on a problem, the number one uh, way that I kind of get unstuck is by taking a walk. Um, and it's, you know, it's very relaxing. It kind of lets you openly think about things by yourself. Um, so uh, anyway, I would, uh, you know, I would uh, uh, strongly encourage you to, um, you know, to number one, just prioritize what it is that you want to get out of college. And, and, you know, frankly, it might not be your, your academics might not be your number one priority. You know, maybe you want to build lasting, you know, absolute lasting friendships while you're in college. That might be, you know, a perfectly, you know, that that's a perfectly great number one priority that you would want to have. Um, uh, but I think it's important to, you know, set and to write down, you know, to clearly enunciate for yourself what is it that I'm trying to do here? Uh, you know, what is it that I'm trying to get out of this experience? So, you know, first thing is prioritize. And then the second thing is to have a, you know, bulletproof relaxation technique. For me, it's walking. For other people, it might be going to the gym. For other people, it might be reading. Uh, you know, it's, it's important to realize what your, uh, what your reliable relaxation technique is. Uh, so anyway, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in a future video.